Ferguson, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Deputy Lord Coonan, uh, and I say I'm delighted to be here uh, this morning to celebrate uh, this 50th anniversary and this amazing 50 years um, the changes that have taken place. So when I walk in this door, I think there's one thing that hasn't changed, and that is the friendliness of the people that attend country markets. And this is right, give it a And that's that have celebrated their country matters of their, their 50 years anniversary. But when you think back in it, that they were started first in, in Feathers, I think, in South Tip, because Mrs. Lee, I think, was involved in the, the foundation many, many years ago. Past she was the founder, but, but, but Mrs. there was a Mrs. Lee here. Yeah, she was down here. She was in Feather. She passed away some... some, uh, some about in March, early around this year. So she was at it. So as I say, there's something special about the country markets and something uh, unique that it has brought with our heritage and what, what we have. That people can actually come in from this area, come in and get the food that is being grown and cooked and baked and whatever. And see the lovely display that's actually here. And when you think back in the and what I as Junior Minister of the Department of Agriculture and Food, and we're constantly thinking of ways of promoting food all over the world. We're now in a situation in Ireland that we're actually selling to 70 countries right around the world. And one of the questions that has invariably, when we go to meet any of the representatives of the, of the various countries, where is that food produced? Is it produced locally or whatever? And the very many the very, very minute that they hear it's produced in the local area, they, the buyers want to switch into that. So what we have in Ireland, and what we have, I suppose the model that we have in a bigger scale is, uh, is, is really eminence what you are doing here, just the local food from the land in the locality. And I think that's really, really good um, for the country and it's selling our product right around the world. And I think, and I believe this, and I know that we launched a scheme only some, some months ago in relation to the organic farm, and to get more people into organic and naturally produce, uh, produce food, be it milk or grain or, or meat or whatever. When we, when we launched that, we didn't know what kind of a, 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 an uptake we'd have on it. But the, the numbers that we have uh, taken that up are really huge. So I think that's really good. And I think that we can sell that. When Canon John Hayes founded Winton Atira about over 50 years ago in Banshee and South Tibet, one of the things that the reason behind it was community involvement, that people would do for themselves uh, things in that community that enhances everybody's life within that community. And that's what I think your country market is doing here uh, in Rosary and the country markets all over the country. So I want to applaud you for what you've done. I want to applaud you uh, for the homeliness, you know, the, act, the nice atmosphere that's here, and to keep up what you're doing. I know there are challenges out there, and you said that this market can, some days is not as good as it is. But I think there's a future. Tourists that come to Ireland, they want to eat the, the product that's made in the homes, the farms, the houses, in the, in the towns around here. So that's why we, uh, I suppose, as a government, in, um, in encouraging tourism, it's encouraging the simple country way of life that we have. We should protect it, and you are, I suppose, the custodians of, of that protectionism. So I salute the country markets, and I salute uh, you, you all those people, families that have been involved in it for many, many years. I'm delighted uh, this morning to be joined here by uh, Alan Kelly, the minister, lo your local minister or minister from Paul Rowe. He's not the local, Noel Cullen will claim to be the local man, and Noel is here uh, uh, with me. And so I'm delighted 
uh, that these two gentlemen are about here with me to celebrate what is good uh, in country art. Every day we turn on the radio, we hear about rural Ireland is dying and is decimated. And can I say this to you? As somebody that's waving a flag for country Ireland, each one of you are enhancing a status of what we have. The good that's in country Ireland. The positiveness that's there. And I think we can talk it down about what we have. There is change taking place in country Ireland. And that's the key, the change, we have got to adapt it. What we have in, in abundance is the friendliness, the warmth, the community spirit, the way we support ourselves, the way we produce our food, the way we make up our, our, this very special welcome uh, for the people that come into the country. And certainly being here in Rosgrave uh, to celebrate that with you this morning is indeed a very uh, nice occasion for me I like doing, doing this and I want to promote it. And certainly in our department, we certainly want to promote all that. So I thank you for the invitation and wish you success. I won't be here in 50 years' time. But make sure, make sure, this is the key, make sure that the friendliness, what you're doing here, continues. And I certainly know, and if that happens, the quality of life that we have and that we can be so proud of in rural Tipperary can live on for years. Alan Kelly, Noel Coon and I stay three days a week in Dublin every week sometimes. There is no doubt the quality of life, what we have in Tipperary, the friendliness is not in the bigger urban centres. You can pass people in Dublin and they don't, they don't have time to talk to you. They're so busy. If you walk down the street and it's great, they will all meet you. And hope they'll be all meeting us when the election comes. Thank you. <laughs>